about to take in, man. I just pulled up at the crib, man. Like, this is... I'm overjoyed right now because, like, this is really, like, blood, sweat, and tears and hard work for me. Guys, we up on the other side. Niggas acting like we tied. I've been gone since, like, July. Niggas acting like I died. They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide. Because I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied. Hey, hey, look who I'm around, man. All right, y'all, they say when one door closes, another one's open. I was working, man. Some of y'all know what kind of car I had beforehand. And basically, it was the little engine that could. It broke down on me. And basically, uh, because your boy was working hard, got that new corporate job, man, ended up getting a brand new 2022 Blazer from my dad at his dealership, which is crazy because I always wanted to buy my first car from my dad, and we actually did it. And I didn't know it was gonna be this soon. You feel me? So as you can see, this will be walking away with it. You feel me? We got mom in the cut. She likes it. <laughs> you feel me? Good. All black, 20 inch, chrome. To God be the glory. So y'all see the interior, man. It's insane. You know what I'm saying? space in the bedroom. It's amazing. Let's go. That is crazy. That is crazy. My dad sold me and sold another customer at the same time. That's crazy. Crazy. But yeah, y'all, this is insane because if y'all know me, my other truck, man, it got hit by a garbage truck while it was parked, bro. While it was parked, so it was barely holding on, but we made it. I didn't know you said what? We made 2022. Jesus. We made 2022. I can't even believe it. This is crazy. Hey, what so what so what you know about your brother's car, man? Like what what was up with the last car, man? Dog. Um, <laughs> Dog, come on, bro. Let me say y'all, I'm just super proud because he came a long way, you know. He was driving a car and I felt so bad for him every day I saw him because it just seemed like, it just seemed like nature didn't want him to have that car. He like, like he never damaged the car, he took great care of it. You're at the parade, bro. Yeah, we, are, we were at the parade downtown in Detroit. And then next thing you know, he parks his car in one of the parking garages. We come back early from the parade, he didn't even stay the whole time. Right, came back early. Yeah. Came back yeah. early. What was it? The, the tail light. light. Yeah, the tail light was knocked out. Yeah, the back light was busted. And we think, and we like, taped it, and we taped it. Yeah. And then yeah, and we taped it up and everything, and they sure looked nice, but like, oh, you know, he didn't do nothing. Like what? Yeah. But you know, I, yeah. So to fix the tail light, he fixed it up and so Then the grand finale. <laughs> the um, grand finale, bro. The car was parked out in front of the house, and next thing you know, like, he's upstairs working, actually. Dude, that's what I'm and, saying. Uh, like, and, doing everything right, bro. Downstairs, you know, chilling with, you know, the family and everything. And, you know, I hear a big boom. And I'm like, what? What was that? You know, like, no one expected that. Exactly. And one of our neighbors across the street actually knocks on our door and was like, hey, um, the front of your car. What was it? The bumper? Yeah, the whole bumper was on the ground, bro. Yeah, the whole bumper like is off. And I'm like, oh, what? Well, first thing I did was run upstairs to get David because I was like, David, oh my god, bro, we, we, we. This is what I have, man. You feel me? The accident hit happened where I was literally just parked here in the garbage truck. I just came and just took the whole bumper off the car for real. Then on top of that, it started leaking on me. And we had the trailblazer. Hey, man. Like I said, keep grinding, man. But this just for motivation, dog. You feel me? So I'm about to say goodbye to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate all the times you got me through. I had a lot of fun in this car, man. But now we on to the new. David is just standing in front of the house with his hands like right over his head. Like, no, like, why do you? Like, it, it made no sense, man. <laughs> and it turns out, um, we believe our suspicion is that the garbage truck yes. just came too close. Saw it, but, but we never caught the guy, but it, you know.
and just yeah, so, then I had to tape know, it up. Buddy. Tape it too, so hey, uh, all I can say is that what we learned from this experience is that duct tape really works. <laughs> duct tape really? No, it wasn't duct tape. It was gorilla glue tape. Yeah, the gorilla glue, glue tape. Gorilla glue, glue tape is the key. David took some, he took some hate. <laughs> <laughs> put some L's in the chat. If you hey, if you got to this part of the video, put some L's in the uh in the comments. If you took some L's, put your L's up, man. Cause I know I didn't took some. But it's not about how many L's you take, man. It ain't losses, it's lessons. And you know, and they for a reason. And that's why I'm so appreciative of what I have now. And I was appreciative of what I had then. I didn't want to get a new car. Mm -hmm. I was about to buy another. Dude, my plan was I was going to buy a bumper. I found a bumper online. Yeah. Remember I told you, I was about to buy a bumper. Okay. But, but I mean, literally rode it to the wheels. To the Man, what? Till it started leaking on me, power steering out, everything out. Like, it's just, yeah. man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yep. Join the easy game. Get late. Exactly. All right.